Hello, welcome to Urban Geography class. Today we will discuss about urban sprawl. We will try to define what urban sprawl is. You all know what urban is. It is a settlement in which most of the people depend for their livelihood on other than primary activities. Now, what is urban sprawl? Urban sprawl is unplanned expansion of the city. The term was given by White in 1958 in his classic essay. Urban sprawl is defined differently by different people. According to the available literature, there are three types of urban sprawls. These are Low density urban sprawl, it is caused by the expansion of city in concentric rings. This is the direct result of city expansion. It, the city expands to grow into country area and village area and these are outskirts of the city. In America, urban sprawl is called the car dependent communities because the development of cars, the development of four wheelers, automobiles accelerated the development of urban sprawl. The second type of urban sprawl is called the ribbon sprawl. The development of the sprawl is like ribbon on the outgoing routes from the city. This is developed like this. The third type of urban sprawl is a leapfrog sprawl. Here is the city development and these are the out skirt sprawled satellite towns. This type is called Leapfrog sprawl. Actually, urban sprawl was not started as a problem. It was started as a solution to the problem of the congestion of the cities, the density of the cities, the over dense cities. The planners think that. If we develop some outskirts, some satellite towns, then and uh, link it them to the city with high speed transport, then the congestion of the city will be reduced. But the sprawl has become a problem in itself. So this is one of the biggest problem of developed world are of America and uh, the planners are devising ways to get rid of it. Now we will discuss what are the causes of urban sprawl. The causes are first the natural causes, the unprecedented population growth causes the expansion of the city and it causes the sprawl. This, uh, lower land rates is another cause. In city, the land rates are being more and more expensive and so people move outside the city in outer strips of the city to inhabit, to make lands. So the sprawl develops. Modern communication technology is also causing the sprawl because people can reside far from the city and still can communicate with rapid transport and rapid communication system. Rise in the standard of living in the cities is also a cause of 
sprawl because in cities the standard of living is very expensive very costly so the people who cannot afford that standard of living go to reside out of the city and they commute daily to do their job in the city lack of planning also sometimes a cause of sprawl lack of urban planners lack of foresight urban planners lose the foresight in which area the city will develop and so people go out and reside there and develop this sprawl sometimes the geography of the land also causes sprawl there are some areas in which th this is difficult to plan habitat so people go out of that area to reside to make their houses suppose this is the city here the difficult terrain is there so people go out jump and leaf frog sprawl here develops lower tax rate and rentals outside the city in country area is also causing sprawl in city the tax rate and rent is very high you can see this example in cambridge in cambridge it is very difficult to it is very expensive to live so people go 20 to 30 miles away from the cambridge in some satellite towns and this causes the sprawl sometimes it is people's choice to go to move out of the city to live away from the city because they think the city is very congested and very polluted so they get, go out of the city and make their houses and settle there it also causes a, a sprawl industrialization is also causing a sprawl sometimes because city authorities and sometimes court as the case in delhi in india order to to industries to move out of the city and when industries move up move of the city then people go with the industry because they do job in it and they want to live in the vicinity of the city vicinity of the industry sometimes market also causes the sprawl to dev single family houses because people make single family houses so they move out of the city and live there and so the sprawl develops now we will look what the consequences of the sprawl are foremost consequence bad consequence bad result of the sprawl is loss of agricultural land because the fertile land people take up for the houses and for the industry and this is the loss of fertile land where the there should be plants there should be agriculture the houses are there environmental degradation is also a result of the sprawl because people in the city do intense activity and where the intense activity is there the land degradation and the environmental degradation as a must there is increase of temperature outside the city as a result of urban heat island effect you all know the urban heat island effect loss of wildlife is also a very bad consequence of urban sprawl health impact is also there 
often neglected consequence of a sprawl is loss of social life because in all cities people reside side by side in close vicinity of each other and there was a social life now because people are living outside uh, but in distance so the loss of social life is there and it, the loss of social life results into stress into health impact but there are some benefits also it is first benefit is affordability affordability also causes sprawl to develop those people with a decent income with a fair decent income cannot live in the main city can live nicely outside the city in sprawling communities better environment they get better environment better less polluted environment outside the city better schools are there sometimes and betterment of nearby areas development of nearby area is often the result of the sprawl so we can see that sprawl is not always a bad thing it start as a solution it's not only a problem what we have to do the problem is of management we have to manage the our cities better we will discuss city design in this regard in next lecture